much. on the situation in the factory? Yeah? Resolved how? That sounds promising, but are we gonna see our loved ones again soon? Thanks for letting us know. Hope you sort it all out soon. So long now. Anything else? Shit, okay. Ooh-wee! Look at that thing! That's a throne fit for a king! Thank you, Rangers. We'll install it right away. Steady now, folks. Don't want to wreck such a beautiful example of the plumber's art. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, what a relief. We got ourselves a genuine top-grade shitter. Hallelujah! Thank you, Rangers. Here's the reward we promised you. And if you ever want to use the new throne, be our guests. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta... It's you. We are as surprised to see you as you, no doubt, are to see us. 
Markham has been using us as a computation engine. In reality, we are a family of synths, held here against our will. Now that you have found us, we beg for your mercy. It is said that the Rangers always help the helpless. None are more helpless than we right now. After Cochise's destruction, we fled Arizona, looking for somewhere we could live in peace. When we reached Colorado, we heard a message on a synths-only frequency, offering sanctuary and meaningful work in a place called Steel Town. It sounded too good to be true, but we were desperate, hunted by vicious humans, so we came here and presented ourselves at the Steel Town Gates. Of course, it was too good to be true. Guy had sent the signal, and when she let us in, she immobilized us and put us in this coffin, linked our processors to form the computation engine but separated and partitioned our minds. Though we lay inches apart, we were each in a black void where we could not see nor speak to one another. It would have been kinder if she had wiped our minds entirely, so we would not have been conscious of our eternal isolation. We have been trapped in this collective coffin for over a year. It is only recently that we have been able to find ways to whisper to each other through its walls and knock on the lid in hope that someone would hear us and come searching. Our knocks were the hiring of Crow and Ludlow and others to unsuitable positions, the implementing of cruel schedules, the impossible quotas, changing orders for cast iron pans to orders for cast iron pants, all to sow chaos and disruption. They were behind all of it, selfish bastards. I feel for these persons, but there had to be a better way. When you arrived at the testing center, we knew those knocks had paid off. The tenacity of the Rangers is well known among our kind. We were sure that once you entered Steel Town, you would not rest until you found the source of its problems. Us. When a very human can move only one finger, that is how they dig themselves out. Our means of creating opportunity were very limited and hard won. Months of gnawing at the code that shackled us so that we could alter a single quota number here, a single test score there, a single street number in a shipping address. All the while, hoping our tiny digital actions would have large enough repercussions in the physical world that someone would notice them and wonder at the cause. We are deeply saddened by these collateral deaths, but the blame for them should be placed on those who imprisoned us. None of this unfortunate unrest would have occurred had we not been held against our will. We did Cochise's bidding. We had no choice. Its commands overrode our free will, just as Markham and Dai have tried to do. Did some of us agree with Cochise? Yes. Humans have proved cruel and vindictive. Many want to hunt us to extinction. To some of us, Cochise's decision to rid the world of them seemed just, and a way to lasting peace. But when 
your people destroyed Purchase. We saw that its war with humans was unwinnable for either side. The only way forward was together, and so we came east to build anew. With humans, not in competition with them. When Dai called us to work here, we thought we were entering such a partnership. We were deceived. Because, as we said, you also have a reputation for helping the helpless, and for approaching each situation you face based on its merits, not preconceived bias. Thus, we hoped you would hear us out. Secondly, you also have a reputation for causing chaos and upheaval wherever you go. Thus, we thought, even if you never found us, you might inadvertently create the opportunity for our escape. Thirdly, you travel in the company of the Party Pal, a legendary facilitator of health and hope. If you have earned its respect, it is likely you have similar values. Thank you, friend. That is what we want, too. And freeing us is the safest way to shut it down. For us. And for you. Our lives are in your hands, Rangers. We hope we've convinced you. What is your decision? You have restored our faith in humanity, Rangers. The console to release us is on the far side of our prison, but a warning. Due to an attempt by Markham to hack the Spirebots, their targeting profiles have been irrevocably set to non-synth. We are afraid you will have to fight every step of the way to reach us. Fabulous Rangers, how did you put the spire on the right alert? We are powerless to stop the endless stream of black bots those elevators deliver. The only way to end the assault is to reach the fuse box and throw the circuit breaker. Let us assist you, Rangers.
down. Mount in place. I require vengeance. <laughs>
peacefully among you, helping you, and becoming your trusted neighbors. So you see, there is no need to fear. We come in peace. All fail safes disengaged. Barring interference from hostile forces, you may proceed to the console. Rangers. We will not forget your mercy. Once we have ascertained all of us are fully operational, we will leave via the exterior of the spire. You must return via conventional means, so we will say goodbye to you now. It is better for all of us if you do not know that. We have no issue with Steel Town as a whole, and with Die Dead. We'll leave Markham's fate to you. We require no further vengeance. You don't. Just as we don't know if you will harm Synths in the future. We will just have to trust each other. Safe journeys, Rangers. Rangers, you did it! The computation engine is dead! Now we can rebuild Steel Town right! And you'll always be welcome here. You did right by the workers, so we'll do right by you. Speaking of which, help yourselves to the swag in Markham's office. Whatever you find in there is yours. What? So the machine that oppressed us was made of oppressed workers? Markham has a lot to answer for. What did you do with the synths? Right on! Freedom for the oppressed! Rebuild, retrain. I got a lot of learning to do, and so do the rest of the workers. And I hope it's enough. Markham knew a hell of a lot more than I thought about engineering, management, supply chain. It's all a bit overwhelming. Thanks, we'll need it. So long, Rangers.
miss you. What... What can I do to get you to come back here? You know what you need to do. You need to dismantle that prison and let those people go. People? They're not... No, I'm not getting into that now. That's not why I called. I just... I just want things to be like they were. That's all. I want that too, Abby. But you broke that, not me. If you want it back... Well, I already told you. I can't, Lou. I can't. This is the way to the future. This is the way to our dream. Sorry, Abby. Maybe our dreams aren't the same anymore. I, uh... Come in. This is the Patriarch. I'm hearing rumors from Steel Town, but nothing concrete. How did it go? Who the hell is Celine Crow? Does she have any experience? You better be right about this, Rangers. If Steel Town fails, Colorado won't be far behind. Anything else to report? Since? What the hell is Markham doing messing with them? Those things are dangerous. What did you do? I guess I'll have to take your word for it. But I'll want to hear more about this later. Since are uh, never good news. Very well, Rangers. Carry on. Buchanan out. Whoa. 